With a John Deere CN Spray Machine, you unlock a wealth of data at your fingertips. Having this data can help you make better decisions down the road for changes to your farming practices or justified choices made. First, it is important to set up the right tank mixes. This can be done either in John Deere Operations Center or on the display. Within Operations Center, go to the Products tab under Setup. If you do not have the tank mix created already, select the yellow Add button, Tank Mix, and create the tank mix desired. For sea and spray tank mixes, it is best to give them a tank mix name like SNS or sea and spray along with the application type. This will help you filter out only your sea and spray tank mixes after application to analyze the results later. Once you have the right tank mix, you can then send the tank mixes to the machine via setup file, data sync setup, or work planner. They then can be selected in the display for use. After the application is complete, it is important to understand how as-applied data may look different than what you are used to with a traditional sprayer. Traditional as-applied maps will look like this map, where all the area of the field will be in color to demonstrate that the whole field was broadcasted. In this map, you'll notice the gray area represents area covered but not applied while the color indicates where spraying did occur, saving the operation in chemical cost. Below the field analyzer map, you will find an easy to read pie chart to see how much ground was covered with sea and spray, but not applied. Further, you'll also see the amount of each product you saved in your tank mix. This is why it is crucial to accurately document your tank mixes to evaluate savings and performance. Here you can measure at a field level just how much product was saved using the technology. In addition to as applied maps, Sea and Spray Ultimate and Premium machines also have an additional data layer of weed pressure recorded when using Sea and Spray. By using this map layer, you can see that the red coloring are areas with high amounts of weed pressure, and the green color are areas with little to none. Weed pressure maps have a direct correlation with the sensitivity you have set. If your sensitivity is set to the highest setting, more weeds will be detected and higher levels of weed pressure will be seen. If you choose to run at the lowest sensitivity to prioritize savings, you will notice less weed pressure by choosing to ignore more weeds. This map can be used for future decisions like comparing it with the variety map to see if one variety had greater crop residue from the previous harvest, evaluate the efficacy of your residual, or determining if tillage practices need to change based on weed pressure seen. Farmers can also compare productivity of their sea and spray machine to the other sprayers they may have through Machine Analyzer. Navigate there by selecting Analyze, then Machine Analyzer. Here you can choose what metric you'd like to compare. If you select Fleet Utilization, you can see if the sea and spray machine has a greater percentage of time working than machines without the technology. You can also choose the Sprayer Technology dropdown. This will allow you to see how often sea and spray is being used as a percentage of hours while recording work. Next, move to the Work Analyzer portion of the Analyze tab. When you filter to Application Data, you will find your weekly sea and spray report. If you click the sea and spray report button, it will ask you to select the week you wish to view. From there, you will have a report downloaded that will highlight total savings for the selected week by crop, the total number of acres covered, highest and lowest saving fields, and reasons for fallback seen with the technology. This report will give valuable insights into how to improve the use of your machine to maximize savings and achieve desired results. You can also get this report from the Files page. New for 2025, customers are also able to see their sea and spray data in Work Analyzer. First, navigate to the Work tab. Ensure Application and 2025 or newer data is selected as this feature is only available for data recorded in calendar year 2025 or later. Then select the Sea and Spray tab next to Work Totals and Performance. 
Here you can see all the fields with CN Spray utilized. This will give you information like the total savings by area, percent not applied, and total savings in gallons. Take note, savings are calculated for all fields CN Spray was used in, whether it was the whole field or just a portion of the field, so savings may be different based on numbers seen in the CN Spray report. Also available on Operations Center for CN Spray is an ROI calculator. This can be located on either the home page for CN Spray customers or by typing in ROICalculators.deer.com. Here you can input your own operations information, like tank mixes and per acre cost, to estimate what the return on investment may be on your CN Spray machine. This tool is designed to assist you in assessing the financial benefits of your investment and understanding potential crop input savings. If you have issues accessing the ROI calculator, ensure you have level two access in financial, work, and location in the organization accessing the calculator. 